The restaurant with the failing score is in Knox County. Nearly a dozen violations were marked off in the report. The grade is a 68 at Don Jose's Mexican Grill on Taswell Pike in Corrington. At 68 is a failing score. A grade 69 and below is considered failing. There's been a follow-up at Don Jose's Grill and that score in just a moment. The inspector writes when he entered the grill, there were flies at Don Jose's, but there aren't supposed to be flying insects inside restaurants because they carry bacteria. A cook was observed shredding ready-to-eat chicken with his bare hands. That's a quick way of potentially spreading foodborne illness. Gloves are required whenever handling food. In the cooler, the temperature of diced tomatoes was at 55 degrees, but 41 and below is the safe cold temperature to kill bacteria. There's more. Two large packages of frozen beef were thawing at room temperature. One way to properly thaw frozen food is in the refrigerator to slow bacteria growth. The inspector also found food products stored on the floor, which is not a clean place to keep it. Finally, the inspector writes the person in charge did not show proper managerial control because of so many critical violations. Now, the inspector has returned to Don Jose's Mexican Grill, and those critical violations, they were all corrected. The new re-inspector grade is a 95. No need for any follow-up inspections at the top-scoring eateries, and here are the best grades of the week. In Knoxville, the busy El Chico restaurant on Cedar Lane, 100. On North Peters Road, the Rise restaurant also scores 100. In Morristown, Poop Poop, Sierra Taqueria, which specializes in tacos, 100. In Morristown as well, La Monarca on Cumberland Street, it too has a perfect grade. In Maryville, the Firehouse Subs on Washington Street has a 99. So does Panera Bread, the one on South Illinois Avenue in Oak Ridge, also in Oak Ridge, the Aubrey's Restaurant on South Illinois, it scores a 98. And Wendy's, the one in La Follette on Jacksboro Pike, it too has a 98. Restaurant health inspections are conducted by county health departments. They're unannounced and done twice a year to make sure that the food you are served is wholesome. Don Dayer covering Food for Thought. Thank you, Don. And if you would like to look over this week's health inspection scores, we've made it easy for you. They're under the news tab on WATE.com. Or you can take a moment, scan the QR code you see right there on your screen, and it will take you right to the page right before you decide to go out to eat. Yeah, there <laughs> well, you look go. Look at those scores. Just have it up. You know, have the passenger just going, no, no, yes, yes, <laughs> no, no. There we go.